What's up, mortgage coach, trust engine community? Uh, I've got a special interview uh, with a good friend, someone that I've known for more than 10 years because I knew this guy before. Uh, you're you're the co-founder with Steve Scallon, right? Co-founder yep. of Rewire? Yep, 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 so, yep. Co-founder of Rewire, and guys, we're recording this. The day we're recording it is March 29th, and I, I just heard this is the 10th anniversary. Congratulations, brother. Yeah, you know, we, we Steve incorporated, uh, and we got a letter back from the state of Oregon uh, 10 years ago today. Um, and I, because I was still in mortgage, I ended up joining, you know, January of 2014, uh, just because you got to finish stuff out and whatever. But yeah, today's the day that we've been incorporated for 10 years, which is just, man, that went fast. Uh, I know it has for you too, man. Like <laughs> it's nuts, but yeah, great, great to be with you and, uh, your folks and your audience today, man. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm good to do it. And Steve Scanlon, if you do listen in on this, uh, you're next. It's been too long since you and I jumped on Zoom uh, and pow out on some wisdom. And I always learned so much from you, Steve. So, so Jason, this call occurred because I saw on social media um, you were doing some speech or some training, and it was called mindset selling. And I was just like, "What? You know, like in this marketplace, mindset is king. You know, the people that are gaining market share and." really winning and thriving in this market. They've got the right mindset. And then to, to actually hear mindset selling, I'm like, I got to know what this is all about, brother. Yeah, we've, we've definitely, you know, it's so funny. We, we have been doing this for 10 years, uh, but all of a sudden it got sexy. <laughs> and so we've been doing a lot of this workshop uh, mindset selling. And, you know, as I was thinking about our time together today, Dave, you know, I could tell you all about mindset selling and we could talk about all of the reasons why, you know, how you think really affects how you act and the eventual results that you get. And we can have an agree fest about all of that. And I don't know how long we have today, but would it be okay? Do I have your permission? Can I actually run you through an exercise live right now. So instead of just telling you about it, like we can literally, I can show you and whoever ends up, you know, tuning in today, you know, I it just, there's, there's just so much more that can be caught when we're doing something rather than just talking about it. So is that, is that cool? You didn't know we were going to do that, but is that cool? No, I, did, I didn't, but I love that idea because we're going to assume that hey, if you're in this mortgage coach trust engine community, you're you're the advanced kids. Like this is AP, and and you just hear the name and you know it. And I think everybody knows this esoterically that mindset matters. And if you could be a leader that has a great mindset and you elevate the mindset of people around you, I think people intuitively get that. So yeah, let's 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 do a exercise and ask me any questions and I'll be as transparent as I possibly can be. And I hope I learned something. I know I'll learn no, something. This, 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 this is, this is already good. I, I figured you yeah, were going to say yes. And if you didn't, you know, we would just talk about it and that'd be cool. But the fact that you said yes is, is going to be fun. And in fact, if people are tuning in live right now, literally you could do this along with Dave and I. And so it take just a few minutes. So first of all, Dave, you know, I don't know if you're sitting or standing right now. It looks like you might be sitting. Love for you to sit up straight, you know, straight as you can. And By the way, you. I could stand. I've got a stand no, up desk. Cool. No, 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 no. Either okay. one, either one. Just All sit right. up, sit up nice and straight. I'm and then let's just, you and I, we're going to take a nice deep breath together. Just the deepest breath that you can take. And we'll just let it out. And what I'd like you to do right now, you know, it's interesting that it's, March 29th, we're at the very tail end of Q1 of 2023. And in a couple of days, it'll be the beginning of Q2. And so now that we've taken a breath, I'd love for you to see yourself three months from now, 90 days from now. So it's the end of Q2. And this is you, Dave Savage, and you, you know, that, that might be listening in live, just think about yourself in your mind's eye. I'd love for you to think about future you, 90 days from now. So we're at the end of Q2 and it's future you and you're sitting back towards the end of the month and you're thinking to yourself, man, you know what? 
I am really glad professionally that I did this one thing because I made a commitment to myself and I actually executed this one thing. I had a really good Q2 in 2023, irrespective of what happens in the economy, in the market, in the inventory and in rates and all, all the other things. I controlled this one thing and I executed on this one thing. And you know what? This is future you right now. I feel pretty good about myself. I feel, I feel proud of the fact that I did that thing because it really led to me doing well this last quarter. And so Dave, for you, you, you've, you've, you might have something in mind. Like this isn't you and me talking about it. This is you and I doing it. So for you, Dave Savage, I don't want you to tell me what that one thing is yet, but do you have something in your mind when I took you to future Dave, do you have something in your mind that you would think, I'm really glad that I did that one thing. thing. What's yeah, that? Three to five things came to mind. You okay. Know, like, and I, I don't know which one's number one yet, but okay. I, three to five things that fit that criteria. Well, this is this is good. What I'd like you to do, do you have a pen or paper or anything like that? Come on now. What I, okay, good. My dad used to say a, a, a short pencil is better than a long memory. So I'm really glad that you've got that. So what I'd like you to do is, just quickly jot down, no long explanation, but for yourself, quickly jot down three of those things, just the three first things that hit, hit you that are just like, man, I'm, I'm really glad that I did that one thing that really led to me, Dave Savage, and Trust Engine and the organizations that I work for. Uh, gosh, it just really went well. I'm glad that I did that. And for those of you that may be joining live, just yeah, take out a pen and a paper or pencil and just write down one, two, or like Dave, three things that strike you as like, man, I'm I'm just really glad that I did that. I'm proud of myself that I did that. That led to a, a better Q2 for me. And then Dave, you tell me, are you close to having three things written down? Yeah, I got them written up. Okay, perfect. So now what I'd like you to do, Dave, and for those of you that are watching, look at your list. And I know we're narrowing pretty quick. We've only been doing this exercise a couple of minutes, but I'd love for you to circle one of those items, Dave. I, I don't know why you're going to circle it, but you do. There's one item there that I just like that just stands out for whatever reason for you. And I know that's tough, right? Because even initially, you're like, I got three to five. And I asked you to get down to three. So, and now I'm asking you to circle one. All right. I circled this the all makes sense later. Okay. Um, are you okay with sharing what that one thing is? Are you, are you cool with that? Yeah, I'll, I'll share all three. Yeah, well, you know, for, for, for the purposes of, of, of this right now, I'd love for you just to... No, no, yeah. I'd love for you uh, to tell me what it is and just give me a maybe maybe 60 seconds, not a lot, but maybe maybe 60 seconds at the most context around that that one thing. Yeah. So sweat daily, you know, uh, that is, you know, something that I, I walk almost daily. You know, I work out like three times a week, sometimes easy, sometimes not. But I I just know that if I literally, you know, for 20 to 30 minutes did the the kind of workout I should do and really sweated daily mm. that when I'd be incredibly proud of myself and and a lot of the the energetically the things I want to do from an energy perspective uh would would take care of themselves so that was the one I picked awesome awesome yeah that that is that's amazing now and I know you've got two more and I can even just see your countenance where you want to oh, share those two, but we, we may get to those, we may not. So yeah, and I don't know they're totally on point for loan officers because it's different than what a loan officer would do or a manager. Well, but, there are other three things personally, so. Yeah, but, but, that, but that may not even matter because we all know um, when you're taking care of yourself, when you're taking care of your own health and well-being, you gain, there's some things that happen there, right? You're getting oxygen in your blood system, you're creating endorphins. And then when you engage, you know, projects like you and I are doing right now, 
or whatever decision making that you need to do or whatever emailing or projects, whatever, you're just going to be a better version of yourself. And so guess what? When you enter the marketplace and you're a better version of yourself because you took care of yourself first, look, we don't need to have a big live uh, Zoom session about how good that's going to be for you professionally. So yeah, I, I get it. I get it. You're sweating daily. So what I'd like to do is, you know, we have workshops, Dave, where we spend whole days on literally the exercise that you and I just did, where we really lengthened it out. But what I wanted to do was get the basics down. And we did that. So let's break down what you and I just did from a mindset standpoint. Okay, so first thing we did was sit up straight. We took a dip, dip, big, deep breath. We got some oxygen into our system. And you knew right away, okay, we're doing something. We're going to go into a little program, a little system right here. When you do that, no matter what program or system that you have committed yourself to, you've already told your brain, you're activating synapses in your brain where you're telling yourself and your entire being, I'm doing something and this is meaningful for me. Then I had you think about your future self. So in coaching, you know, we, we could talk about the past all day long. We could talk about how the economy's not fair and what's happening with low inventory sucks right now and the, the weather's not good and my company is this or whatever. We could talk about the past, but when you start thinking about future you, your brain is automatically thinking about pathways for you to get there. And so we are, we start at your brain thinking about future you, not, not past you or all the reasons why you can't do this or this didn't work out or whatever, but future. And we're already clearing the pathways in our brain of how we're going to get there. Then I walked you through the process of, hey, by the way, future you, Dave, is feeling good about yourself. So we already projected things are good. And then we worked back. We went future back where we said, okay, if future you is really good, what are, what are some of the things that we did to make that happen? Because that doesn't happen by magic, right? If we don't think about future you in a positive light and how you're going to clear the pathway to get there, well, it may be okay, but it may not be okay. But we, we guided you through a path of like future you smiling, feeling proud about yourself. This was good. Then I had you write down what are, what are those things? Well, science says when you're writing something down, your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. And when you're putting pen to paper, your brain is only focusing on the end, what's coming out at the end of that pen on the paper. And I've got, I don't know if we'll have time for this. I'm going off track for one second. I've, if anybody has trouble sleeping, I have the coolest like fail safe way to fall back asleep that has to do with this concentration piece, but back, back to our exercise. No, 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 back to our exercise. So you wrote that down, you wrote that down and you were really concentrating on for you, those three things. Then we had you circle one. So now we started having you focus and we all know, we've heard the saying, what gets uh, focused on gets done. And so now we focused on that one thing. Then I had you say it out loud and say it out loud to me and whoever happens to be watching us right now. Well, when you write it down, you're imprinting that thing into your brain more than just like if you were on a walk and you thought about that or you were on a drive and thought, man, I'd really like to sweat every day. You wrote it down, you imprinted it. You heard yourself verbalize it. So now you imprinted it again. Then you told me and all your listeners. So now you've got a community of people, one to sure hold you accountable. And, and I know a lot of your community, you're going to be getting text messages, bro, did you sweat today? I'll probably send you a text message, you know, over the next quarter that says, bro, did you sweat today? But I, I've already got, a, I just looked at my text and I've already got two text messages. Oh, that's awesome. That's and, awesome. And, I, I think, I, and, 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 and this hasn't even hit YouTube yet. This is yeah. just like a half a dozen people checking. That's perfect. This, this is even better. So, because guess what? Your community of people that are around you, whether it's your inner circle or your wider circle of audience and, 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 and followers and that type of thing, guess what? They're for you. They're, they're your cheerleaders. They're your fans. So now 
They're not holding you accountable because they wanna see you fail. They're gonna ask you about it because they're for you and they wanna see you win. And so all of those things, guess what? Uh, the oxygen to your blood and your brain, the thinking about the future you, the clearing the path, the writing it down, the speaking it, verbalizing it out loud, the sharing it with your community, all those things are mindset. We didn't do anything magical there in the last 10 minutes, Dave, but we did, right? We didn't do anything that was, we didn't have to spend hours or thousands of dollars or getting the, the best you know, system or technology out there. All those, all, all those things are amazing. But what we did is we worked on the mindset. And guess what? When you work on mindset, now it gets back to what we all know is mindset matters. Well, we just went through an exercise that shows you how to implement that for yourself. So anyways, there's the, again, we can talk about it and we can break that down. I'd love to hear you know, comments or questions, but I wanted to show you that because that's an exercise that we've been working our audiences through and it's just been, yeah, it's been really fun. It's been really fun to see the results. Well, first of all, I, I felt great about it going through that myself. Uh, I loved how you broke it down because it just, you know, reinforced like little things can make a big difference. And so uh, I, I already feel differently about that commitment that I've, I've had. Um, I haven't actually said daily, you know, it's more oh, three times a week. And, but I, but today you, know, I, you did. Okay. Today I did. Today yeah. I did. And, uh, and so I'm feeling good about that. And I could also transition and see how if a mortgage professional was to go through this process, they're going to show up differently. And then I also, I think that a lot of mortgage professionals that are listening to this, like I know Jeremy Forcier is going to hear this. He's going to love this. And I, I can see him picking a, you know, three to six of his realtors where he, hey guys, we all need a little mindset boost. You know, do you yes. want to you want to go through a process that, that I'm putting myself through, and and actually bring this as a gift to people that one you know well enough to to give it to. This is not yep. a strategy for your first realtor meeting, but yep. this is a strategy for people that you're in relationships with. Um, so I can already see, like when I heard mindset selling, you know, I was thinking, oh, how are we using mindset selling to to sell? And yeah, I, I always love you guys at rewire because they're not like every other coach you know they're 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 like mindset first rewire you know like like actually rewire your brain and so i i, I should have known i was going to get something very different than what i i thought i was going to get and i i love it so before we do run out of time um yeah. let's go for like another four minutes but give us that sleep pack because i do know that that's a that oh. i actually the sleep game and I, I recently got the whoop oh and, yeah uh, sure and, and i have an aura ring so i'm just a complete nut at measuring um data points in sleep and sure. crushing the sleep game a lot of people don't so what's uh how, yeah i'll, I'll right? give the, i'll give this one to you quickly and i'll tell you off the bat it it at first it will sound a little weird and sometimes we have to have some broader discussions with our clients about it I, uh, from time to time, just like maybe you and, 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 and everybody to some degree, sometimes I'll have trouble sleeping. And, you know, once or twice a month, that'll hit me. And if it's a weird transitionary period in my life or something like that, sometimes it'll be more than once or twice a month. And I've tried all the things and I, I really stay away from any type of like, um, you know, drugs or, or even melanoma or anything. I just, I just prefer not to do that. And so, I heard this, and this isn't this isn't a rewire technique. This is something that I, I heard on a podcast one time, and it works every single time. Sometimes it takes longer than others, but here's how it works, and it's all mindset. So typically, the reason that if I wake up in the middle of the night and can't fall back asleep is because I got the monkey mind going, right? Like there's there's just there's stuff happening, either stuff I got to do the next day, maybe stuff something that I'm a little anxious about, that type of thing. And so the way that I clear my brain is, um, and again, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it's going to, it might sound a little weird to begin with. Close your eyes. And you may, you may get this right away and you may not. 
when you close your eyes and you ever look at one of those um, pictures, Dave, where you have to concentrate in the middle of it and have your eyes go a little blank where you're looking like at the back of the canvas in order for the real picture to show up. You know, you know, I forget the name of those pictures, but you, you know what I'm talking about. You close your eyes in that fashion and you focus your mind and your eyes as if you were looking at one of those pictures. So you're, you're trying to see your eyelids in a way where you're starting to see shapes and, and, and things going around, like you're looking at the back of a canvas of one of those pictures. So that's first thing. And it's almost like we had you writing down those things where you're focused on one thing. Now, your monkey mind may still be going, even though your eyes are focused on that. Then you pick any number you want, 168, what you, 305, 59, any number you want, and start counting backwards very slowly. So you are, you're focused your eyes on the shapes, like you're looking at the back of a canvas. So your eyes are focused, just like the pen to paper. And then your brain has to focus, but it's a simple focus. It's just going, counting backwards from any number you pick, 5,892. It doesn't matter what number you pick, very, very slowly. So now, again, your brain is, your eyes are focused on one thing and they're closed and your brain is focused on something very specific. And you're not trying to get to zero. You're not trying to see how much you can count. Every single time I've done that, I've fallen asleep. Sometimes it takes five minutes. Sometimes it, it, it takes a half an hour. I don't know, but every single time. And so again, I know we didn't come into a mindset selling session thinking about the way that we slept, but if you're having trouble sleeping, it will affect the way that you're selling. And so if that's the technique that you took away from this time together, then, and, and it works for you, then, oh my gosh, God bless. It's amazing. I, I, uh, while you were describing, I did it and I, I could totally feel, um, a clearing of the, the cash, you know, like, like, you know, we all know to say computers, it. you know, like clear cash, I think it's called. Yeah. And I, I could feel like reboot and ability to rewire your mind off of the monkey mind and clear things up. So guys experiment with that. You know, one of the there were all the presentations at the Modern Mortgage Summit two weeks ago were spectacular, but you know, Josh Metal focused heavily on sleep, water, and health. You know, we're we're in a tough market, guys. And while here at Mortgage Coach and Trust Engine, we're, you know, we're a tech company that's showing you how to be a better advisor. But first of all, you're gonna have a hard time adopting new technology and learning new skills. Like we need to learn new skills. And you're going to have a hard time crushing it if you don't win the sleep game, if you're not crushing it with water. And, and, uh, and now we got a good exercise that could really help us boost our confidence and our mindset. So, We're dude, right you delivered, man. I, I really appreciate it. If anybody wants to learn more about Rewire, they want to go through one of your, your deeper workshops or hire you guys for one-on-one -on -one coaching, what do they do? No, I appreciate that. Rewireinc.com. Go to rewireinc.com. We've where you hit us up there. Uh, I may be very likely the, the person to initially speak with you, which I would love to do. It's one of the most favorite things I do still at our organization. And uh, even if you go there and you just take our free tools and run with it, uh, we'd be really satisfied. We'd be, but obviously we we love speaking events, we love coaching, we have our leadership program. We'd Love and to. You got a podcast too, right? Like you, you. We do. Yeah, yeah the in, the insight interviews. Out. Yeah, check we, out the podcast. I'm getting closer to finally launching my podcast. Hey, uh, yeah, congrats, so man! Soon. So, dude, thank you for you know on short notice jumping on, investing time in this community. I I got value, and I know everyone else did. So, thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you. Big, big fan of you and your organization. Congratulations on Trust Engine. And uh, dude, I'm sure we'll talk soon. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up, guys. Make sure you follow both um, Jason and Steve Scanlon on social media. Check out their podcast. And if you want to, you just want to rewire your mind, you want to upgrade yourself in this market. Uh, these are some of the best coaches, best leaders in the industry. Take care, everybody.